since the launch of chat gpt5 we all are facing problems with multiple complaints around chat gpt not being able to produce the correct result now this is because you are using the same old prompting technique and not using the recommended open ai 7 tag prompting approach in this video i will talk about why this happened and how you can optimize your prompt for better results So let's decode OpenAI 7 tag prompting approach in this particular video. But before we start this video, subscribe to Scaler and stay up to date with everything that happened within the tech world. The 7 tag approach consists of 7 tags to define the entire prompt. Number 1 is role. Now here you define what persona you want ChatGPT to take and work accordingly. Number 2, task. What exactly you want ChatGPT to do for you? Number 3 context now here you provide the relevant information associated with your task number 4 reasoning in this section you lay down how you want the chat gpt to approach your problem number 5 rules in this section you specify all the non negotiable constraints or limitation that chat gpt 5 should be aware about number 6 stop condition Now this defines exactly when you want ChatGPT to stop researching and provide you the output. And the last one, output style and the output format. Now here you specify how you want the final output to look like, such as a table format, markdown format and image or a step by step guide. So now let's jump to ChatGPT and compare the normal prompt with the 7 tag prompting technique. Now let's say we want to prepare for the ML interview. So what will be your prompt? I'll just simply say, um, suggest a five-day preparation guide to prepare for the ML interview. Now this is a very open-ended question, and let's see what ChatGPT is going to generate for us. Now here you can see that ChatGPT has assumed so many things. Number one is what is your profile? So we haven't provided the context about your profile. We haven't provided the number of hours that you can invest to prepare for this particular interview. We also haven't provided the context regarding what you know and what you don't know. Also we haven't specified the output format. So now let me try the seven tag prompting approach to the same problem. Now here I have written the entire prompt using the seven tag prompting approach. Now let's go through it. The role is you are an experienced machine learning engineer and technical interview coach with 10 plus years of experience at the top tech companies. Now we have provided the task as create a comprehensive personalized 5 day preparation plan for machine learning that covers all essential topics. The context is about you. the candidate is preparing for an ml interview and the candidate is good with the coding no if the candidate is not good with coding the candidate has 3 years of experience he has worked with e-commerce sector so basically i have provided the entire context about the profile now the reasoning now this is very important how you want chat gpt to approach this problem so we want chat gpt to start accessing the candidate's current skill then prioritize the high impact topic which are essential for cracking any interview then balance the theoretical knowledge with the practical implementation and finally provide mock interview scenarios to simulate real interview process now the rules is very important because you have some constraint you cannot invest the entire day on the preparation right so here we have each day must have 3 to 4 hours and also include at least 1 hour for hands on coding practice provide specific resources i have also mentioned that i only need free resource options the stop condition i only want the result for 5 days so this is my stop condition finally my output format i want the output format to be a csv format now this is important for me so that i can simply copy paste the output and put it in my csv file and i will be able to organize the result in a very well structured manner so let's see now here chat gpt has generated a result for us 
uh, what I need to do simply now is just simply copy this and put it in Google Sheets so that we can organize the result and look at the output in a very structured format. So let me simply put it over here, split it on the commas. So let's try to understand this result. Now this is where we can see that it has divided the entire learning process into five days. These are the focus area which is for the candidate who is preparing for this machine learning interview. The learning objectives, we have study materials, then we have the coding practice exercises, the mock interviews and the milestones. So basically what has happened now is you can see there are two things or two changes that has happened. Previously when we were using an open ended prompt, we were getting the response which was not tuned for a particular candidate also it was consuming a lot of token. Now when you organize your prompt using this seven prompting technique or seven tag prompting technique you can see that we have consumed less tokens and the output is very well organized. So this particular prompting technique will make sure that you are able to generate exactly what you are trying to generate and this will also avoid that multiple iterations that you spend on correcting the output generated by any LLM. So I hope you guys would have learned something from this seven tag prompting technique. With the seven tag prompting technique, OpenAI has also suggested some general tag which you can use with your general prompt to get more organized output. To control the tone of the output, you can use tags such as formal, casual, authoritative or neutral. You get to pick the tone of the output. Cool isn't it? Similarly, you can use analogy, storytelling, deep dive, summary or teaching mode to name a few. These will make your output crisp, effective and more original. You can even customize the prompt for the audience you are catering with the tags such as beginner, kid, expert or intermediate. So let's see one example for this. Let me go to chat GPT and let me ask, uh, explain uh, machine learning. Now I want the tone to be formal, uh, I want this to be for the beginner, I want this to be uh, the audience should be let's say uh, kids so that it returns me the best possible simplistic answer. Let's see what will be the output. And here you can see it has identified that it is for the academicians. Uh, it is for the beginners and it is for the kids which basically means very simple fun way and you can see that the entire output has been accordingly formatted, accordingly generated. Isn't it cool? Now let's say if you are using Claude for your day to day task then the best way to write a prompt over Claude is using the XML prompting technique. So let's see what is XML prompting technique. Let me open Claude, let's see how to write a prompt using XML technique. So XML prompting technique is not a very different prompting technique. It is basically writing a prompt with the usage of multiple tags and all these tags are written in these uh, brackets. So let's say we want to do the same task which we have asked the chat GPT also to do which basically is to uh, guide us about the ML interview preparation. So let's use the same prompt here also. I will start with prompt and then I will mention my prompt. So let's say the role which I want chat GPT or basically Claude to take is of the ML interview expert and mentor. Then I will close this particular tag with this particular tag. So here you can see that I have mentioned my role with the start of a tag and the ending of a tag. It is helping the machine to better understand what you are looking for. Now this is basically a machine language. You are exactly writing your prompt in a machine language. Let's write the uh, second one which is your task. Now the task is suggest or uh, define a five day ML interview preparation guide. 
and I will close it with the same tag. So here you can see that we have again a started a tag, closed a tag. Now similarly, I will just add the context and I will not uh, mention it a very great detail context. I will just mention uh, the person is a beginner and is trying to crack ML interview. Um, he is a data analyst and never gave any interview. So I am just giving a short context. Now let me close this tag. And basically let me just run it now because you can write all the tags which we have already discussed in this same format. Let's see what Claude has for you. And here you can see that it has started generating the output and this output is going to be very well organized. Now the number of tokens that you are going to consume in this kind of technique will be very less because you have mentioned exactly what you want and you have mentioned in such a way that Claude which is exactly a machine can also understand without any problem. So this is known as an XML prompting technique and this is very much compatible when you are using Claude. So if you are on chat GPT prefer using technique of seven tag prompting technique. Uh, you can also use those tags which I have suggested you when you are writing your general prompt. Together with that on cloud you can use this particular prompting technique which is XML prompting technique. To summarize we talked about the seven tag prompting technique which was recently suggested by OpenAI. We also talked about some tags which you can use with your general prompt. Also we talked about the XML prompting technique which you can use with Claude as a platform. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Try out this prompting technique and let me know in the comment section if your prompting has improved or not. For more tech updates follow Scalar and hit the subscribe button.